Let's talk about what to look for when you're buying a guitar and a little bit about caring for the guitar. First of all, uh, price is a definite consideration. Um, guitar, there's a wide variation in price on guitars and you want to get something that's in your price range. Um, although they are made out of wood and everyone's a little bit different, we'll talk about some things to look for um, in the guitar, but uh, price is a definite consideration. So uh, start looking at something that you can afford. Then the size of the guitar is, uh, is an important consideration. You don't want to have a real young student starting out on a, like a jumbo folk guitar. And uh, they do make half size guitars and three quarter size guitars and some smaller uh, instruments for students. So try to get a guitar that, um, that feels like the right size for the hands and, and for the student. Another consideration is the type. Now whether you get a nylon string guitar or a steel string guitar, uh, I still think I'd start off with an acoustic guitar uh, to begin with. Uh, the, if the students convert later and they go to an electric guitar, that's fine, but uh, maybe start off with the, uh, with the acoustic guitar first. Now the nylon string guitar, of course, is going to have a mellower sound, but it's also going to be a little bit easier on their fingers. I think if I had my choice and someone came in and said, you can buy guitars for the entire class, uh, what do you want to buy? I'd probably buy the nylon string uh, guitars f at first for the students. You might think it would be difficult to keep them in tune, but they'll hold their pitch okay and be easy for the students to control. So, uh, acoustic guitar uh, to begin with. Now, woods uh, in the guitar can be a, an important consideration. Uh, the type of woods that you have in the guitar, but a, one kind of an overall consideration is that the top of the guitar can be either solid or uh, laminate top. Now a solid top guitar will typically have a little bit brighter sound, it might even have a little bit better tone, but it's a little bit more susceptible uh, to some climate changes. So it might dry out and might have a tendency to crack a little bit more and you might want to uh, be a little more cautious with a, uh, with a solid top guitar. Generally though, they'll have a better tone. But a laminate guitar, laminated top guitar will sound fine and uh, can pretty well stand up to a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, temperature changes and, uh, and some humidity changes. So now let's talk about the types of woods. Uh, on the top of the guitar you can either get a, a spruce top or a cedar top and there are some other woods too that are used but those are most typical probably spruce and cedar. Cedar uh, typically has a more mellow sound where the spruce top has a little bit uh, brighter sound. The sides and the back uh, a lot of guitars are rosewood on the sides and the back. Some guitars are mahogany though and uh, you can kind of see that in them. A rosewood typically looks a little bit more uh, ornate and uh, has a little bit more uh, grain to it. The mahogany looks a, a little bit more plain. Now some players, some rhythm players, really like the mahogany sides and back. It's a great rhythm sounding guitar. Maybe for some solo work you might prefer the, uh, the rosewood on the, on the sides and the back. Uh, the neck of the guitar is typically made out of mahogany. Yeah, they uh, made out of other woods too, of course, but the mahogany is, is quite typical. And on the top of the guitar, the fingerboard up here on the top of the neck, that's typically made out of rosewood too. But very often, uh, well, depending on the price of the guitar you're getting, but that can be made out of ebony too. An ebony fingerboard is great because it's just like a piece of steel and, and probably will not dent or it'll take a long, long time to get any dents in it where the rosewood might, uh, might dent a, a little sooner. But uh, most guitars, I think it would be typical for the students' guitars uh, to have a rosewood. Uh, so those are the basic types of woods that you can see uh, in the guitar. Now also in the type of wood on the neck, talk about that, for, or not on the neck but on the top. Let's talk about the grain for just a second. If the grain goes down and it's straight all the way down, the, the guitar is a good chance it'll have a better tone than if the grain goes down and it warbles a little bit. Also, if the grain is a little bit wider on the outside and it gets narrow to the middle, that'll be a pretty well-balanced guitar with the tone. The wider the grains are, the more low end usually it has, and the tighter the grains, the more high end that it, that it probably will have to it. Also in the top of the guitar, sometimes you can see this, uh, these little silk waves running down the top of the guitar and those, those waves that run down the top of the guitar um, that look like those little silk strands in there, those medullary rays, uh, if you get a piece of wood that has that in that's probably a really nice piece of, uh, of wood in the top of the guitar. You can also see what the guitar is tuned to. Now I don't mean the strings, but I mean the guitar is actually tuned to a pitch. If you hum into the guitar, you'll hear one note be louder than the others. Listen. Um, 
you can hear that note got louder than the others. If I go lower, it's not as loud, but when I hit that note right there, it's louder. Now this guitar, that A, A note, <laughs> the A is quite loud. And I, I like the A being loud because I play a lot of chords that have an A in them. A uh, guitar that's tuned to G would be good. If you get a guitar that's tuned to B flat, uh, that might not, maybe you don't play in B flat that much, so you might want to get a guitar that uh, vibrates it, uh, with a lot of notes and chords that you're playing. So you might see what the guitar is tuned to. Guitar builders sometimes tune the tops to the back of the guitar. So, I mean, that's a maybe a small thing, and I know sometimes when I go into music stores, they maybe think I'm crazy if I'm humming, humming into the holes of the guitars to see what they're tuned to, but it actually lets me know what the guitar is going to vibrate to and what it's, what it's going to, the pitches that it's going to be sympathetic to. Okay, now, on the neck of the guitar, you want to make sure that the neck is straight. Now, how can you tell if the neck is straight? Well, you can sight down it like, like looking at an arrow. You can take the guitar over and look straight down it. Or you can push the string down like in the first or the first, second fret and then push it up high and see how much clearance there is in the middle. If you've got a lot of clearance in the middle between the neck or the fret and the string, then the neck is probably bent. And you want to make sure that the neck is fairly straight. Sometimes guys like just a little bit of a bend in them, but you want to, you want to make sure that neck is fairly straight and, and maybe really straight. So check on the, on the straightness of the neck. Also, check on the action. Now, the action is the distance between the string and the fret. And if, uh, if, the, if the string is really high up here, it's going to be a difficult instrument to play. You can adjust uh, those sometimes by taking the bridge saddle here and sanding that down. You might not want to do that. You might want to take it to a luthier to have them sand down the, sand down the bridge saddle. If you sand it down on your own, make sure that you sand the bottom of it and not the top where the strings go over. But you can adjust the height of that bridge saddle and make the strings a, a little bit lower. So you don't want just a, an action that's really high. You want the action so the guitar, so the strings are fairly easy to push down. Also make sure that the gears work. Uh, that's obvious, but make sure that they're not too tight or too loose. If you can turn them a lot and they don't do anything to the, to the gear, they don't turn it much, you might want to be cautious about that. So make sure that the gears are in good working order. Also just check out the tone of the guitar. Uh, see if it's a tone that you like. Uh, if it's a bright sounding guitar or mellow or if it's a, if it's a loud guitar, just see what, uh, what fits your preference, what you like. So those are some basic things to look for uh, in the guitar. Also, uh, maybe get something to take care of your guitar, a gig bag or a case. Maybe don't get one that's too expensive if you didn't spend a lot of money for the guitar. You don't want to spend more money on the case than you did on the guitar. But get something to take care of the instrument. And we'll talk a little bit more about taking care of the instrument in one of the other videos. But that'll give you a few ideas of what to look for when you're buying a guitar.